Okay, the effect of dilation on a side length, um, basically whenever you dilate a figure by a scale factor, the new side length will always be that number times the old side length. So uh, they're going to have you find the lengths of the original and of the final. But when it says the longest side length of the final figure equals what number, you're going to put in that, uh, you're going to put in that number that was the scale factor. It's going to go there. The um, two figures will always be similar. So if they have that they're similar, it's true. If they say they're not similar, that would be false. And you get to use this slider thing, woohoo. So let's uh, do some examples. So we're doing a scale factor of two. This can be so fun. So we just go and dilate it by two. We know that the shortest side length of the final figure is two times. We're just gonna put two right there. The shortest side length of the original figure is two units. And the shortest side of the final figure is gonna be four because it's two times as big. And uh, the original figure and the final figure are not similar, so that's false because they're always similar. So you have to read those ones carefully because sometimes it'll be true and sometimes it'll be false. Um, so we are dilating one fourth, so we get to come over to one fourth. We made it smaller. The shortest side length of the original figure is one, two, three, four which means this one will be one. Of course, you can see that it's one. Uh, we're gonna write one fourth here. That's just your scale factor goes in there. The original figure and the final figure are not similar. Again, that's false because they are similar. And we'll do one more. Okay, what's the dilation? Scale factor of three, awesome. So it's gonna get much bigger. The longest side of the original figure is three units, which means the longest side of the new one should be nine, but let's just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's three times the longest side length and all the side lengths are three times and the figures are similar. Finally, we get a true statement there. And that's the end of the lesson.